Alright man, first Godfall video. I'ma call this shit Godfall PS5. That's what I'm gonna call it, man. Godfall PS5, man. First video that I'm covering on it. This is gonna be a breeze. You feel me? So everything we know so far about Godfall. Let's get into it. Shout out to Fextra Life for this video. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to them for dropping this. Let's do it. Let's get into it. Determine your playstyle, sort of like Remnant from the Ashes. Players will collect armor sets called Valor Plate which will have slots to insert augments to create different kinds of builds and playstyles within the style itself. Okay. Sort of like subclasses. I like this Some shit. Some examples they offered are augments that heal you and your allies whenever you hit an enemy weak spot, or an augment that summons magic missiles that target nearby enemies and deals area of effect damage whenever you hit a weak point. Hmm. The augment system reminds me a bit of the proc sets of Elder Scrolls Online. Yes. By special bonuses effect, i.e. healing or summoning missiles, can only be proc'd after fulfilling certain requirements, in this case, hitting an enemy's weak point. Godfall is designed with co-op functionality in mind, and players can play solo, duo, or join three-player co-op. The game features hot we on this. Lets players join games without needing to queue up and wait, which sounds a lot like drop-in, drop-out functionality, but let's wait until they explain it further before we jump to conclusions. All of Godfall's content can be played solo or co-op, and is accessible to all players regardless of their stats and level. Bleh. I just hope that they don't make the same matchmaking system as Anthem, because I remember seeing a level 3 quick played into the last mission. While it was amusing, it doesn't make for a happy player base. I don't think it's going to be nothing like Anthem. Godfall is a loot-driven action RPG focusing on third-person real-time melee combat. It's basically like Borderlands without guns, minus the cell shading, and looks a lot better. I can't really explain it any better than that. 2020 is really shaping up to be the year of role-playing games, and Godfall is definitely one of the RPGs we're looking forward to. Counterplay Games is still a relatively unknown studio with only one game under its belt, mm -hmm. but it's by no means a small studio. <laughs> Counterplay Games is a 75-person team, and they're comprised of industry veterans, devs of many games such as God of War, Destiny 2... That's what I was thinking about! Diablo 3, Halo 5, Overwatch, and many others. That's what I was thinking about! should tell us that Godfall is a game worth keeping an eye on. It's pretty hard to say exactly when we'll see more of Godfall, but I have a feeling that we'll see more of it at E3 of this year. Hell yeah! That's the first time I've gotten to say this year in 2020. With the game being a PS5 launch title, I'm very, very curious to see just exactly how the game will look and play. What sort of performance will we get, and what bar will be set for future RPGs on the console? If you're an avid RPG gamer planning to pick up a PS5 at release, I would think Godfall is an easy purchase. Regardless, we will bring you more coverage as new info releases. Hey, great video, so man. Follow us and keep an eye on our YouTube channel. Great video, great video, great video. So we got a better explanation of what Godfall really is, you know what I'm saying? I like the fact that it's a close combat RPG. I like the fact that you can loot. I like the fact that it has that Elder Scrolls feel as well, you know what I'm saying, with the armor and things of that nature. And it's sort of like, and with the different, you know what I'm saying, realms or, you know, uh, the different tribes and shit like that, just like the last Airbender, it has that feel as well. So I like the mixture of all of that. It's going to be, I think it's going to be a really good game. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to say it's going to be on some like God of War type shit or anything like that. But I can say this shit ain't going to be no scrub. I can say this shit is going to be good. That's just me though. That's just me. We got to wait for more info. Um, I do think they're going to show a lot of footage on, um, on at E3. You know what I'm saying? A lot of PS5 shit at E3. For sure. For sure. But hey, if you enjoyed this video, definitely leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Please turn on notifications to get notified when I upload a stream. More bangers on the way. That's all I can say, man. More bangers on the way. It's your boy, Joseph Woody. I'm out of here. Everything this shit gonna be crazy, bro. Listen to me when I say this, man. Spider-Man PS5 is gonna be the mecca. The mecca of the PS5. Bro, the shit. I'm telling y'all right now. When this info come out about Spider-Man PS5, it's over with. It's, it's over with, bro. It's gonna be one of those games that's just life-changing again, just like how Spider-Man PS4 was. You know what I'm saying? 